Hi guys, namaste. Um, <clears throat> I tried to do this as a short, but I can't, I can't, apparently I can't do things as a short. Okay, you want to read my shirt? Here, it's a good one. I, wait, keep calm and pour yourself a mega pint. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Um, what I wanted to tell you guys is I am out actually trying to go to the park because it's on my list today. Um, what, what happened on my list today, um, was I did three videos and I'm not even finished because I didn't do set. It, it just ran into too much time and I just really wanted to get out and go walk around because I haven't walked We've been having storms and stuff. Everything is safe for now. The, the guy that works on our house came and had to put plastic and stuff over the windows, the skylights. Not just windows, skylights. Devin keeps telling me I say it the wrong way because I do. Because um, it's the first time in my life that I had a skylight. So anyhow, um, yeah, so... It's just that we're going to have a storm again tonight, and I'm trying to get out, get some steps in. And I want to go to the park because the park is fun. And then I have to go to the store, food store. I haven't been feeling like going food shopping lately, and I have to get out of this rut. So I pushed out. I have three videos coming out. I don't know why they're not uploading from my other phone. Before I left, I uploaded one. You have to upload one at a time with that old phone. Uh, but I just looked to see if it was up, and it's not up yet. So I can't check it out until I go home. But what are they about? They are about um, uh, Sebastian Rogers. I did a deep dive. I started it yesterday, but I didn't feel like, because of the rut I'm in, um, I didn't feel like going to do it, but I did actually work on a little painting. Um, <clears throat> it's just that the, the guy that works on a house is going to, didn't have, didn't have the windows in. We have to have replaced three windows. One of the skylights, skylights, three skylights, and one of them had holes in it we didn't even see. They were all cracked, and when he went on the roof, he saw it. Anyhow, you don't care about that. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to talk fast, but anyway. Um, if you have something on your list that you really want to do, but you feel lazy and you feel like, or you feel busy and you don't have any time to do it, yesterday, in my laziness, that means no cooking dinner, not really doing anything, um, I took my little duster and went into my bedroom. I have a big pile of clothes to put away, but you don't see me doing that. But I took my duster and I cleaned because I have a beautiful dresser and bedroom set that I bought with my own money um, when I got, first got divorced. And it is lacquer made in Italy. And I love my bedroom set, but it's always dusty because I need to stop being a dirty bird and just dust it. So I at least did my side. Devin doesn't do his side, but I'll do his side, but I have to have really have energy. Anyway, I took my vitamins yesterday. See, today I didn't take them, but I'm still hyped up. Okay, I don't know, for some strange reason. Um, because I was talking to, to, I know I'm going to jump all over the place. I was talking to um, Sebastian. And I was channeling with him. I was doing the cards of... Uh, this is what I set out to do yesterday. And I actually did... Uh, shuffled the cards. I don't... Why is it hard for me to talk? Shuffled the cards and laid them out on... Three cards on Katie. And three cards on... Chris Proudfoot. And three cards on Seth Rogers. Right? Um, but when I was doing it and then I did not do it, I did not do it. Right. Then today, Devin says, you have to rejoin your substitute thing. Right. And I have to do this every year. It's like three steps. Right. First step is 
I, and the lady told me I was late. I couldn't find the link. It's like, even though I have all these credentials, I have a master's degree, um, I have a BS, a, B, a BA, um, and a BS, and I do a lot of BS, and I, um, a master's degree, I have to do this process every year, right? So they, it starts in May, then there's another step in June, and I usually, I don't understand technology, although I do have a YouTube channel for some reason, a miracle, miracles, miracles happen. Anyhow, I, f I realized I didn't tell you guys a lot of stuff. I don't know why I've been in a funk, but anyhow, I, I, so Devin helped me with that. First I tried to do it. Of course I couldn't do it. Then Devin helped me with it. Um, then we had to call the helpline because, um, things were going bad. And then, so we finally did the two steps and then there's going to be another step in June. I don't know. And then I got in, in August, I have to go to the workshop, which is all day. Usually it would be four hours. Now they're transferring that to all day. And as a sub, you have to do it. You have to do all these steps. And I'm like, oh, do I want to do this? Do I want? But I shouldn't complain because Devin helped me every step of the way and that I was trying to do it myself and he was like don't worry about it I'll, I'll help you do it and I go but what if you're not here and he was like oh stop talking like that so but I do talk about that because I worry about him because his a ACL is not right um you know and his his sugar is up so that's why my step number two, now it looks like it's getting dark. Well, I'm going to walk anyway. Um, I got to, you know, make sure that he has more vegetables. And I get on a good kick and then I get, I'm like, I, I'm too tired. I'm just, I'm just overcooking sometimes. I don't feel in the mood for it. So by, I try to get him the healthy choice meals. And those are good because usually he likes to eat his meal, his main meal, in early part of the day. You know, like, really lunchtime is really his dinner time, if that makes any sense. Because otherwise he has GERD. Alright, so this was not an experiment on telling you about Devin's health problems or issues. Um, so, I did want to tell you this little story. Let me, let me get out of this sun. One second, guys. Let me get out of the sun. I'm in a parking lot. Let me get out of the sun. Oh. This area always has so much sun, and you feel like you're gonna melt. And my phone overheats, even though I have the AC on. Let me put the AC up. I wanted to tell you, like, you know, besides the readings and stuff, I have other stuff to tell you guys. And I often think, oh, maybe I'll do a live. But now I have I constantly have the dogs with me. And it's like they require my attention. And then I just get lazy and I'm like, oh, I'll just watch Netflix. I'll just, you know. I mean, sometimes I'm, I'm looking at my cards and writing notes for cases. But... Yeah, I just, I've been going through a funk. I think a lot of people have been. I feel like I'm in, in a standstill. Because I got the two trips coming up. And, no, I won't bore you with the two trips. We leave on Friday. Did I pack? Of course I didn't. Of course I did not. This is a little bit better. There's like a little hanger. <sighs> Anyhow, so what I want to talk about. So the three videos that are coming up, hopefully it didn't get wrecked. Because um, I got a copyright strike for that last uh, art gallery, um, Lovers. They just told me today I got a copyright strike because it's not appropriate for children. And I understand that. I forgot to push the button. I forgot to push the button on... Um, I always do it. All my stuff is always meant for 18 and above. But the, they said they're not going to give me a copyright strike. They gave me a copyright something. And I went over to the video and I pushed for 18 and above, restricted. 
So I hope I don't get in trouble for it. I mean, I, it's not like anybody's buying my artwork. And then, you know, there I screw myself up just by at, trying to advertise it. But anyhow, oh, spirit is still in, in me. You could see because my eyes are green. My eyes are usually blue, see? But I, I kind of asked him to stop talking to me because I can't do anything else. You know, I needed to do some more things. This necklace is from my good friend. I call her Lady Q. She has a channel, Awaken Butterfly Readings. And this is beautiful energy on it. Thank you so much. She gave me a um, oil diffuser oil diffuser and it turns colors okay so anyhow yeah I don't like that the sky is turning colors because I I still want to go to the park but anyhow I want to take this time and talk about what I wanted to tell you guys uh, has to do with God all right so you know I've been telling you at nauseam I have to go to my nephew's wedding and um, that's June 5th so um, I didn't have a dress and I tried on loads of dresses so one day last week I went to the place I didn't come on at all I don't think at all I don't even think I told you um, and that's not like me but that's the funk I've been in so I, I said I'm going to leave early and I'm going to go to to the mall and I'm going to go to Dillard's and I'm not going to come home until I have a freaking dress in the interim, Devin bought me a bunch of dresses and my sister Patricia um, sent me a dress that she bought for herself that she liked from Timu, right? I got the dresses, I put on all of the dresses and all of the dresses didn't look good on me, right? I also have a dress that is Calvin Klein and I bought it in, in the mall years ago but I felt it was tight in the chest area. And I just wanted, I was manifesting. I wanted a dress that I could dance in, that I could feel comfortable in, but and I won't look that fat, okay? That it would look nice. I mean, you can't make me look like I'm size seven if I'm, you know, a one X or a two X, right? So I kept on praying for that. I kept on asking for that. And everything I put on looked worse than the other thing. I mean, some things were just like, eh. So finally, I'm in Dillard's and I tried on so many things, right? And I cried like three times, right? I know you might think this is stupid, but raise your hand if you're a girl out there or you're a woman out there and you cried because everything looked horrendous and you just like stop beating yourself up. How can I get this fat or how can I have this body that's so weird and you know and I I did all that raise your hand right at the same time I'm trying to manifest I was like if you could see it and you could feel it and you pray for it and I was like you know what I sat down after trying on like probably the maybe the ninth dress now don't forget I also went Devin took me after work one day to another place a boutique called Kato's and there was a couple of nice things. Most of it was hideous on me. But there was one nice black pantsuit that I could have wore. But here's me, all right? Other people could look fantastic in black. Black is sexy. Black is slimming, right? First of all, I don't want to do a pantsuit. I'm a very... I, I, you might not know this about me. I'm very feminine. I like, you know... Even though I was a little bit of a tomboy when I was little, I basically am very feminine. I love makeup and hair and jewelry and all kinds of stuff like that. And dresses, okay? I don't look great in dresses anymore, but I used to like dresses. And I mean, of course I like pants, so basically. Oh, you wanna see my yaw? It's blue today. Okay, all right. Hey, it's a big thing if I get changed and I put my face on and I get out, right? That's a big thing for me. Shameless clip of my nails. Okay, anyhow, 
It, my nails are staying good as long as I don't use bleach and comet. I gotta stay away from bleach and comet. Um, cause that'll take off the, the shine and then they'll get screwed up. So I cried. I sat down. I, I was crying in the stall, right? Nobody was helping me, right? They, they were like, Oh, did everybody help you today? Nobody was helping me in there. Right. So they, I would just say, where's the plus size? Oh, over there. And so I had the regular sizes and the plus sizes and I couldn't find anything. But I was trying it on because I said, I am not going home without a dress. Then I look at, finally, I find something. I wasn't crazy about it, but I had a little jacket. It was dark navy blue and I was interested in blue. I was thinking about blue and, um, but like, a, I wanted like an electric blue. This is what I thought in my mind. Please, dear God and angels. I asked the angels really to come in. And I know that might sound stupid um, to ask the angels to help you with a dress, but I was desperate because I tried on so many dresses and nothing was like going like that, you know? Um, I was even thinking about getting my Great Gatsby dress out and I couldn't find it. But I don't wanna wear a dress that I wore to a wedding if they got divorced. I'm very, very superstitious like that. Because people would tell me, it doesn't matter, you could wear it. Uh, no. And I don't even like to wear a dress to somebody's wedding and then wear it to somebody else's wedding. I don't like doing that. No, I'm sorry. That's just not me. I'm, I mean, I know, I, I'm not saying like I'm rich or anything. I'm not rich. But I just don't want to wear the same dress um, that I wore to something else. But if something happened where they got divorced and they did. So I I can't do it. I can wear it to a party. Oh, what parties do I go to? Come on, let's be serious. So that's why it's a big thing to go to a wedding, right? So I said, please dear God and angels, I need a dress that the color just makes me look happy and I don't look, you know, I, I don't look like I'm an old lady in it. I don't want to be, I'm not accepting that I'm even 60. I'm not accepting. I don't feel it, right? Um, but I don't want like an old lady's dress or I don't want like a, like I'm not the mother or the grandmother of, of my nephew. I'm the aunt, right? So the dress doesn't have to be like a hot hoochie mama, but I would like it to make me just look nice. Just nice, right? And if you could throw in there a little bit slim or, you know, like not a circle so or square, which is what I am. So I was making all these prayers. I had all these different sizes, right? So I get this one dress and I'm like, this is the only thing that fits and looks okay. It looks ah, right? I had a little jacket and I was like, it's not sassy or hot or anything, but it's appropriate. Well, I look at the price, it's $129. i am thinking when I get up to the cash register, I wasn't gonna get it, but then I said, you know what? I was here for hours, an hour, like four hours, trying on dresses. And I said, oh my God, I gotta have a dress. I just gotta have a dress. And then I looked at the shoes and I said, you know what? you can't go wrong with shoes. Maybe that'll cheer me up if I have a shoe. I pick up the shoe that I wanted to get in Dillard's. It was friggin' $100. hundred, Probably $106. I was like, oh, no way. No way. Let me put it down. Let me go try on more dresses. Right? So I did. And thank God I did not buy the shoes. So I just, I said to the lady, I have this one dress. And she goes, oh, this is a beautiful choice. And I go, by any chance, is it on sale? Or is that the real price? She goes, oh, no, this is the real price. And you're lucky because this just came in. What is in my hair? One second, guys. I felt something in my hair before. Oh, I hope it's not a bug. One second, guys.
rip it out. I hope it's not a bug. Oh. It might have been a bug. I don't know. I freaking freak out with bugs. So, all right. I know it's 2020. Make a wish. Just need a little shellac. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if you've seen my community page. Most people don't read my community page, but I am giving away cards to the next three people that either order a reading or they're brand new cards, um, never been opened, that order a reading or order some healing artwork. I have three beautiful decks, never been touched, and I'm giving them away for free to anybody who buys a reading or the next three readings. So I have three, three decks. So that's just in there. So just in case you're interested in buying some healing art or a reading. Okay. So I said, by any chance, is this going to be on sale? She goes, no, ma'am. This is, you're lucky because this just came in this morning, like a little bit before you got here. And this is the, this is, you know, the last one. Wait, it just got there and it's the last one. It's the only one. That's a lie. <laughs> but anyway, I just, I, I called Devin. I said, Devin, this one dress that doesn't look great. It, like, you know, it kind of hides my body because it's just a plain tank dress, dark blue, and has a little jacket over it. I probably won't even take the jacket off because I don't like the way I look. And he goes, I go, but it's really expensive. He goes, well, just get it. Just get it. He goes, stop worrying about the money. Just get it. But meanwhile, we had all this money problems. So he goes, he goes, just get it. And I, and I go, all right, I'll get it. So I was like shocked because I never spend a lot of money on shoes or dresses. Never. Right? So... I felt like it was such a waste, but I need a dress, nice dress for my nephew's wedding. And I didn't want to think about it anymore. It was my, making my head, and I was like, wow, I don't feel like 100%, or well, maybe I'm being a brat. I didn't feel 100% that God or the angels were giving me exactly what I ordered and manifested, or the universe, right? I said, but it was sort of, it, it checked off some boxes. Was it appropriate for a wedding? Yes. Was it, was, it had a, a long necklace, you know, a long necklace attached to it, silver, and I like silver, even though I have gold on now. Um, and, you know, was it long enough? Did it fit? Well, better fit, because it was a size, I think, 16, right? So I was like, can I wear it to something else? Yeah, I could wear it to something else because it, it, you know, comes apart. So I was like, okay, but, but did I feel like super sexy in it? No, I did not. Did I feel a little bit sexy in it? No, no, not at all. Can I dance in it? Yeah, I guess I can. But it didn't feel like, it didn't really like flow with me. I didn't show you guys. I don't know if I want to show it. Um... I just showed it to Devin last night or the night before. Um, yeah, because he kind of forgot about it. And I showed, I'll show you my two pairs of shoes though. Anyhow, so I, I got it. I bought it. Then I'm walking out of the mall and you got to walk around to go into a different spot. Because um, my car was parked on the other side of Dillard's. So I went in the wrong Dillard's. I went in the men's and then you go through the mall so and I'm walking through the mall and thank God I did not buy those shoes I was like I'll just wear my old shoes or I'll go I'll go to another store and I'll get them discounted because I, I was like so mad that I spent $129 on this dress that I didn't really like that much it didn't do all the boxes so I see 
what's the name of that place? Marshalls, right? And I remember Marshalls. My daughter used to work at Marshalls in Staten Island, New York, and everything used to be all over the floor, right? A mess. And I said, I'm going to go into Marshalls um, just to look around because Devin told me to look around. Maybe I'll see some because I'm not, I wasn't in love with the dress. So I'm still looking at dresses, right? At this point, and I'm like, this is stupid. Why, why would, if I just spent that amount of money? Because it didn't ring my bell. It was like settling to marry somebody that you just think is okay. You like them, you, you, but you're not in love with them. You know that they'll be appropriate, but you're not in love with them. One second. I'm having difficulties with my lip gloss. So, I don't want to gross anybody out. So, uh, all right, so I go in Marshalls and everything's all over the floor. Everybody's pumping into you, pushing into you. Kids are running around. Nobody's watching them, right? And I'm like, oh, I remember why. I mean, the other store, there was hardly anybody there. They weren't really helping me though. They weren't really helping me. They saw me like struggling and they weren't helping me. Um, you know, like if you figure you buying a, a dress and the lady even said did anybody help you with your purchase and I said well they told me where the plus sizes were and it's true that's all they did they just said over there over there over there they didn't say hey can I help you find anything nobody said that so anyhow um in Marshall's everybody's bumping into me and stuff and I'm like oh hell no nah. But I said, let me just take a couple things, put them in my, in my, um, and I had the dress that I just purchased and they just put it in a clear bag, which I didn't like that, you know, I didn't even get a bag. They just put it in a clear bag and that was it. So I find a couple of things, but I, I, I'm going down the aisle and everybody's like walking in front of me. One girl, one lady, I had my... I was going through the things looking for my size, you know, extra large or 1X, 2X, like that, or 16, you know, and I can't believe like I'm looking for the, these big sizes, being only five foot two and a half. So, uh, you know, and so your mind is like going and I'm, I'm like, why didn't my angels really come through and, and God, and didn't he hear me? and. I really needed, you know, it might seem like trivial to other people, but I just really wanted that dress that made me look nice and, and I can move in it and it flows with me and, you know, um, not too matronly. Anyhow, so I was like, well, maybe I... I, he did that already because I have this other dress, but I wasn't crazy about it. So I see, I have my hand on it. I'm going like this and this lady comes over. I seen her on the other side and she came back because she must have been looking over there and realized I had my hand on it. And she was like, oh, I'm not giving this up. All of a sudden she reaches over my hand. She's taller than me, of course, everybody is. And she reaches over and she goes, oh, excuse me, sorry, I just need this. And she takes it, she whips it, hits me in the face. And I go, oh, that's okay. <laughs> and that's what I hate about myself. I, I say, that's okay. Like I make it so they're not uncomfortable beating me up or stealing the dress that I was gonna take. So anyhow, I was just like, oh my God, I was looking for these red dresses or, or orangey color because I have a shawl that's like satiny that I bought from the first store and I'm, I'm still trying to match that, right? So I'm looking, I don't see it. Then all of a sudden I, I said in my head, I said, aren't you with me angels? Aren't you with me spirit guides to find something? And, you know, in Marshalls, things are going to be a lot cheaper than they were in Dillard's. So, all of a sudden, something tells me, go back over the two rows. Because people were in the rows and they were, like, really banging into you. And it was chaos, right? And I really wanted to just leave and just call it a day. I have that one dress. And then, I so I got something that looked like a butterfly that looked terrible on me, right? Then I got a red dress, I couldn't even fit it, and it was a size 16, I think. 
I couldn't even fit it over me. I could like I would so many dresses, I would go to put it on and then I can't get it over my chest. I I don't have like extra big hips. I have a belly and uh of course my arms, but I wouldn't say my arms are are extremely large like I could get things on my arms, but it's just it's my chest area. Um so anyhow, I I something said the voice in my head said go back down those two things and I said I thought I was down here and they said okay now and I did it and I didn't see anything I had two dresses in there the butterfly dress um, and the reddish dress that I couldn't fit over my chest but I didn't try it on yet so those are the two things then and I also had some shoes and then um, I said I heard go back to where you were in the beginning and I go no you must be mistaken because that's size 7 8 9 10 11 12 and that's it they go go over there something is in the wrong place so I go over there and I'm like oh Calvin Klein right this one Calvin Klein nothing else around it was Calvin Klein right and you know I'm I like Calvin Klein right so I have that one Calvin Klein dress but it's tight in the chest and I would feel uncomfortable all night I don't want to do it I can't do it right I can do it I can do it but there's no way that my chest is gonna lose weight or I'm gonna lose weight by the time the wedding comes all right so anyhow it says Calvin Klein but then I looked at it and it was a size 12. At first I thought it said size 22. My eyes were like going crazy. And then I said, like, oh no, that's a size 12. And then I thought it said extra large, right? Something told me just throw it in the basket and then go try it on. Usually when you go there in, the last time I was in and I wanted to try shoes on at the same time, they wouldn't let me. I forget what store that was. They said, no, we have to hold your shoes out here. And I was like, really? I think it was Target. No, Ross. Ross, they, they wouldn't even let me. I didn't get anything. They wouldn't let me try my shoes on because I wanted to try the dresses on with the shoes. And I got nothing. I walked out of that store, didn't get anything. Anyhow, this store, so I have three dresses and my shoes. The lady was so nice at the door, uh, at the in the tryout place. She must have seen me. She was like an angel. I was gonna give. I usually always have bracelets on, and I was gonna give her my tiger's eye bracelet. And then I was like, "That's weird, though, right?" And I, I really wanted to give it to her, and then I felt stupid that I didn't. I felt like giving her money. <laughs> I didn't really have, um, but she was so nice to me after like so many things happened that was like sad so anyhow she was like you can go in with your shoes oh sure you can go in with everything and I did and I try on the butterfly dress and that I looked hideous that was like that was like a moo moo and it didn't even fit right like it was like it looked so good on the hanger and creative and I was like no I'm not doing that I felt like um, from Three's Company, you know, the lady that lived downstairs that she always had the moo-moos on. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. That's the opposite of what my dream was. Then, and I, at the same time, I'm crying, right? I'm like, I'm the worst on myself, so I don't need anybody else to give me insults. Because I, what my new, my thing that I always say is, I have a scale. I have a mirror like you know you want to call me fat you can call me fat but I, I already know I you think I don't know I look at this mug every day I see this this body in this mug every day anyway so of course I'm crying but I'm also praying at the same time and then I'm thinking I'm feeling bad because I already have that one dress that I spent way too much money on so then the the orange dress can't even go over my chest. That I, I actually started to weep. Because you have to understand, I've tried on probably close to 30 dresses at that point, all together, all the different days, and, and including the Timu dresses. So 
I start to weep and I'm hoping that they can't hear me out there. And so I, I'm just waiting. And then I, I, I said, okay, that's two down. Then I look at the Calvin Klein and I was like, oh, Calvin Klein. And it's electric blue, right? But it's not just blue like my other dress that I bought that was like a hundred and something. It's electric blue like the eighties, right? Um, it's back, it's back in style. So I was happy about that, but then I looked at it and it said 12. And I was like, I just tried on a dress that was either 16 or 18 and couldn't get it over my chest. How am I going to try this on? And then I remember Devin said, it's always the cut that you, I need a cut that's like a V-neck. That's why I always cut my shirts, right? Because it's more comfortable for me. And, um, but so this was like a crisscross. And so I tried it on. At first, I thought it said just extra large I was like oh extra large probably won't even fit me but I was holding it up to myself and had an elastic waistband and at first I thought it was a pantsuit but I still was going to try it on because it was so pretty the color and then I realized no it's a dress because I enjoy a dress and it had pockets and guess what I looked at my butt you know I looked at, I put it on it went on I was like oh my god oh my god it's fitting it's fitting it's not it's not too bad I said and then I opened my eyes because I get you know upset like it that it's gonna be so terrible and then I put it on it and it wasn't terrible then I said let me look at my butt couldn't really see any butt like it didn't look bad and then the front you could see like I, I'm not sure what kind of bra I'm gonna wear with it I don't really think I'm gonna buy anything else I have one of those shaper things I have it either in black or, and you're going to see a little bit of it, or I could wear the beige. And you'll see a little bit of it, but maybe the beige is better. Anyhow, um, it was on sale from, it's a Calvin Klein, and it was a size 12. And the freaking thing fit me. And I was like, this is what you wanted me to wait for. This was what you were trying to give me. So I told the, I was so excited that the lady sees me and she must have known I was crying because she must have knew something was wrong with me because I went in and I was probably teary eyed from the other store. And, um, and I said to her, listen, um, I, I am so happy because I found something that fit me, but I didn't think it was going to fit me. Um, because it's only a size 12 and I said um, you know I usually buy you know such bigger sizes because I'm heavy and I said I just spent all this money at Dillard's and she sees me with holding the dress in the in the bag she goes oh maybe you could bring it back you have the receipt I go yeah but you know I'm not gonna bring it back I'm just gonna have I'm gonna have two dresses and then I bought the shoes too uh, two pairs of shoes and I usually don't I don't go for shoes um, I'm not a shoe horse. Like, I'll, I'll buy more pocketbooks or shirts than I will shoes. Um, but I needed a, a new pair of shoes for the dress because um, I have black shoes. And, I mean, it would be all right. But I, I was like, you know, maybe I should. And I got the shoes on sale. And one of them is Italian something or other. I'm going to show you the shoes. But my whole point is that. God was blessing me. God was bringing me and my angels were bringing me to the dress that I feel like I'll look sassy in. Not like, you know, it's not like, and it's a Calvin Klein. Okay. <laughs> so now I have two Calvin Klein dresses to my name. I should, right? I'm 60. But anyhow, I just want to say that keep on, I'm trying to manifest something else, you know, as we speak. And those of you who know me already know it and 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 a lot of you know it I'm trying to manifest my business to be successful okay and so I I was doing manifesting yesterday I was writing in my notes what it means is I listen to music manifestation music um, and I'll, I'll uh, and I write down my affirmations that's my, what my whole business was about writing affirmations to heal your chakras, writing and saying affirmations and feeling the affirmations. Um, and, and you don't get up 
You don't leave until you feel it. You feel like it is so, okay? And that was my problem. I wasn't feeling like my answers were gonna come, so I bought that dress. But I did keep it because I said, you know what? I should have another dress just in case, you know. And I'll, I'll bring both dresses with me because I get like that. I get like, oh, maybe I'll wear this, maybe I'll wear that. No, but I, I love the Calvin Klein and it's electric blue and it's V-cut and it's a size 12. Like, why? Like, how could I fit into a size 12? When I was trying on 2X, sometimes 3X, 16, 14, I, I remember trying on a 14 and in the first store and uh, no, the second store that I went to, and I was like, how, in what universe is size 14? And like every size I went up would bring me, I would be ashamed of myself. And I know I shouldn't be like that because you shouldn't beat yourself up. That's like the devil talking. The devil gets happy when we beat ourselves up and we think the negative stuff. And we, and we like, you should always treat yourself how you would treat your best friend or your daughter or your son. And to your daughter, your best friend, or your son, would you say, you know, you really are a fat piece of lard? You know, no, you would not. Of course, you wouldn't say that. Or you're too skinny, or you're like a bag of bones. You wouldn't say that. You would say loving words. You would say, you know, let's have a protein shake together, or let's go for a walk together. Or you would just say, there's so many things. You know what I, I used to say to the kids? my kids and also the kids in school you know what I you know what you know something they would go what and I go you know something you know what I like about you and they would say what and they get all interested and look in your eyes and I would say everything <laughs> and they didn't know what to say with for that but they would just smile so say that to somebody today hey guess what you know what I like about you you know what I really like about you and then they'll turn around, they'll be really at, at attention, wondering, is it that they're generous? Is that they're funny? Is it that they're kind? Is it that they're intelligent or they're rich? And when you say everything, <sighs> this soul takes a nice like relaxation breath, okay? And then there'll be the odd person that says, because kids would be like this too, no, I want you to tell me really what you like about me. I want you to tell me something else. You know, those are the those are the ones that are like always thinking, you know? And you have to say, "Well, but I like everything." And then you have to give them something specific because they think differently. Anyway, guys, I got to go because I've been rambling on like a nutbag. By the way, I also went to Claire's and I got a bunch of silver jewelry to go with the outfit. And it just happened to be um, buy three items and get the get the next three half price or something like that. Anyway, I, I was spending money left and right, but the two pairs of shoes and that Calvin Klein buy, the Calvin Klein thing was less than, I think it was... $34.99 or $29.99. It was something crazy. It was something crazy. But anyhow, I kept the other dress too from Dillard's. I kept, and I, I, and I have this dress. And when I put it on, I had all those feelings like, oh, it had pockets and I was moving around. It looked like it needed a belt, but I'm not, I don't do good with belts. So I bought the jewelry to take the eye to the jewelry and anyhow I'm really happy with it it made me have those feelings exactly what I was manifesting what I was asking for is it a beautiful color does it look nice on me I think so okay I didn't even try it on for Devin yet I didn't even my sisters asked me to do it too and then I just did I get in a mood where I don't want to try things on and take pictures of it um, but anyhow I'm very happy with it. 
please keep on trying to manifest whatever it is manifesting a relationship or more positive relationship better relationships with your kids um, better relationships with your co-workers uh, a better job a career um, going back to school whatever it is that you want um, the health better health don't forget about our health we have to manifest that too we forget about it and then something goes wrong and then we're like hey I really need better health or my spouse needs better health Health. so we have to remember to, to try to manifest that too anyway I've spoken too much and you're gonna get sick of seeing this mug because oh oh the last the next three videos where I do the thing with um uh, Chris Proudfoot Katie and um, where I'm channeling Sebastian I don't show you my face so you should be happy okay are they still green yeah. Okay, Sebastian, you're okay. You're okay, buddy. You can stay with me. Um, anything you want to tell me, I'm open and receptive. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to reject you. Okay, I love you. I love you all, guys. Sorry about that. And I will talk to you later. Mwah. Why am I so weird? Please, somebody tell me.